This is Gene Key, KTTT News. A Malta block evacuation order was in place. Two Amarillo workers were hospitalized with minor injuries and another was treated and released at the scene. A BNSF rail car exploded around 11.30 Friday morning at the BNSF train yard in Amarillo. Crews with BNSF and the fire department's hazmat team are attempting to determine what caused the rail car to violently explode. There were reports of chemicals on or near the rail car prompting a short evacuation of nearby residents Friday. A local Dumas girl will have the chance to become Miss Wayland University. In plain view, seven co-eds are running in the Miss Wayland Crown pageant next Saturday. Representing the Office of Communications and Public Relations is Alyssa Palzer from Dumas. She is a senior mass communication major. Palzer will swing dance for her talent presentation. We thought you would want to know one of Dumas's own has come back to heal after being severely injured fighting in Afghanistan. Jose Lazoya, along with his wife and two young boys, are back in Dumas now. Jose, with his family in tow, left Dumas to start serving his country in February 2010. Jose was deployed to Zabul province, Afghanistan, on April 27th. On June 2nd of this year, Jose was almost killed in an IED blast. The tremendous blast did kill one of his fellow soldiers and injured seven others. Jose is now suffering from a concussion and traumatic brain injury. For his injuries and service in Afghanistan, he received the Purple Heart and Combat Infantry Badge from our country. If you happen to see Jose or his wife out in Dumas, you might like to say something like, thank you for your sacrifice. This is Gene Key, KTTT News.